Customizing your sales forms to suit your business is important because certain fields simply won't appear on your sales forms unless you turn them on from the account settings. To reach your account settings for sales, click on the gear icon up at the top right and then select Account and Settings. Now choose Sales from the list to the left. First, let's look at the sales form content. Here you're able to see various fields that you can turn on and off for your sales forms. Here we have an option for shipping, which allows you to show shipping information to your customers as you send them their sales receipts and invoices. There is also custom field options. So if you need to track something that is specific to your business and you don't see it listed here, you can create your own from right here. There's also an option for you to enter custom transaction numbers. This allows you to number invoices, sales receipts, estimates, and other sales transactions yourself. Here is an option to list the service date of services performed for your customers directly on your sales forms. And there is also a discount option and deposit option, which you can place directly on your sales transactions as you record them for your customers. Let's save all of these options and then move on to some more settings for products and services. By default, showing product service column on your sales forms is already turned on. That allows you to choose between different products and services that you sell whenever you're filling out a sales form. But there is also an option to track quantity and price rate. This allows you to track the number of items that you've sold to a customer as well as the price per item while you're selling it. Let's scroll down and save all of these options. Then click Done to see the impact of our choices. Open up the Create menu, and then open Invoice. Now we can see the shipping information, the invoice number. Scrolling down, there is now a quantity and rate column on our products and services area, as well as a service date. Here is the discount field that we chose to turn on, and there is also a deposit field. If you ever want to add your logo or change the look and feel of what your customers see on the invoices and other sales forms that you sent to them, choose Customize and then Edit Current to change the look and feel of your sales transactions. Right now, we see a preview of our sales form over here on the right, but you can use the options on the left and the tabs up here at the top to change what it is that your customers see anytime you send them a sales form. Use QuickBooks' customization features to get the most out of your sales forms.